Welcome to this video on spooky lighting effects in PaintShop Pro. Have you ever wanted to make your Halloween photos look obviously ominous, categorically creepy, or even unequivocally unearthly? The line between amusing and intriguing is a fine one. Sometimes the best results come from combining the two. In this tutorial, you will learn how to take ordinary photographs and turn them into spine-chilling spectacles. Let's start with an example on how to take a shot of an ordinary jack-o'-lantern and make it look freaky. First, open the file in PaintShop Pro and make sure that the Edit screen is active. Use Show Navigation to locate the images you wish to work with by clicking on the icon with the two file folders on it. After selecting the folder, click the icon again to hide the navigation. In this first example, the jack-o'-lantern in the shot had its picture taken early in the evening. So you can see a lot of detail. But it could use some help looking a lot scarier. Luckily, there are a lot of fun effects that can be done with candlelight. From the Effects menu, select Photo Effects and then Retro Lab. In the left preview pane, draw a circle around the jack-o'-lantern by pointing toward the center and dragging the cursor outwards. This will create a vignette of darkness around the object, making the object appear to have a halo. Next, adjust the hue somewhere between minus 35 and minus 15 to see a dynamic, fiery look. In this example, the colors are also altered to add some more magenta and yellow to the overall glow. And click OK. That's how easy it is for you to create a stunning jack-o'-lantern shot in PaintShop Pro. Now it's time to have some fun with these effects. One of the great things about the Retro Lab is its versatility. If you want to give your jack-o'-lantern a fabulously frightening face, green flames are a classic look and can be created quite easily. Open the original image and relaunch the Retro Lab. Increase the hue to between 50 and 70 percent and the green to about 75 percent. Redrawing the circle around the jack-o'-lantern in the preview pane will enlarge the area being adjusted and cast a green illumination across a large portion of the background. And click OK. As you can see, the result can look very supernatural. Another wonderful Halloween effect that can be done using the Retro Lab is the Blood Moon. The procedure takes a few extra steps, but the results are well worth the effort. A blood moon is usually very contrasted and has a combination of deep reds and dark shadows. To prepare the photo for this kind of alteration, you will need to make some initial touch-ups to the image before altering any of the colors. To do this, first open up the image, and then from the Learning Center palette on the right, select Quick Adjustments followed by Smart Photo Fix. If the Learning Center palette is not open already, it can be selected from the Palette section of the View menu or by pressing F10 on your keyboard. In this example, the brightness is brought down to minus 59, the saturation will be increased to 43 to create a rich color contrast, and finally the focus is increased to 80 for a sharper look. Next, from the Effects menu, select Photo Effects and then Retro Lab. In this example, the photo of the full moon has a yellowish glow. To create a perfect blood moon from this image, or one very similar in color, you can use a hue of minus 50 and a saturation of minus 16. On the color scales, decrease the cyan to red gauge to minus 20, the magenta to green gauge to minus 31, and the yellow to blue gauge to minus 38. Next, change the dark light range to minus 50, remove any blur effects, and increase the diffuse glow range to about 78, 
And lastly, maximize the feathered edge to 100%. As you can see, the result is the time-honored representation of a sanguine or blood moon as depicted in many classic horror films. Because light changes as it passes through the Earth's atmosphere, the color of the moon can appear very different from one image to the next based on the time of year, time of day, and location where the photo was taken. So keep in mind that the settings used in the Retro Lab may need to be adjusted accordingly. Sometimes it only takes a single adjustment to make a relatively normal image look extremely ominous. One of the easiest ways to do this is with the use of an infrared effect. With the image open, select Effects from the main menu, followed by Photo Effects, and then Infrared Film. With the preview on image checked, you'll be able to see a noticeable change immediately. Set the Strength to 70, the Flare to 30, and the Gain to 30 for photos taken at night with a flash. This will make them indistinguishable from the images used on paranormal investigation shows. To go a step further and make the shot appear as if it were seen through night vision goggles, click on the Adjust menu, followed by Hue and Saturation, and then select Colorize. Setting the Hue to 75 and the Saturation to 125 will produce an image that appears to have been shot using night vision technology. In this last example, you will learn how to take a classic Halloween icon, the skull, and create a dramatic spine-chilling after effect. To do this, open the image, and then from the View menu, select Palettes, and then Instant Effects. There are two instant effects that you will need to apply. First, from the Landscape Effects, double-click on Contrast More. Next, from the Retro Effects, double-click on Retro Dark. And then you can close the Instant Effects palette. The skull is already starting to look very ominous at this point, but it's not finished yet. Click on the Adjust menu, followed by Hue and Saturation, and then select Colorize. By altering the hue, you can change the color of the skull drastically, and the saturation range is used to determine how much of that color is applied. In this example, use a hue of 175 and a saturation of 125, and click OK. Next, select the Picture Tube tool on the left, and the Lightning Picture Tube from the drop-down list in the Interactive Properties bar. Since the image in this example is very large, the scale and the step of the picture tube have both been set to the maximum. Randomly click the areas around the skull until the image looks just right. Thank you for watching this video on spooky lighting effects in PaintShop Pro. And... Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween.